Forbes is now under fire for a cancel culture opinion piece from a senior magazine official arguing that companies that hire from Trump administration alum should not be trusted. According to the Daily Mail, the article by Forbes CCO Randall Lane, author of the controversial opinion piece, was criticized heavily by independent women's forum uh, analyst Kelsey Bolar, who called it dangerous cancel culture. This dangerous cancel, cancer cul- cancel culture, she said, uh, which wants to ban any American who had the audacity to support President Trump or work in his administration from being able to do something as basic as have a new job is un-American. And it is. Let it be known to the business world. Hire any of Trump's fellow fabulists above, after a long list of people, and Forbes will assume that everything your company or firm talks about is a lie. We are going to scrutinize, double-check, investigate with the same skepticism we approach a Trump tweet. That's Forbes. Next. Last week, when some were celebrating and others were licking their wounds because of the Georgia Senate race, the very next day, we saw our country go mad. At least a few people go mad. The Capitol riot has served as a pretext. There's a great article in The Federalist on this. It has, it's serving now as a pretext for other corrosive political acts. What have they done? It's in a week called for the 25th Amendment to remove a president. They had a second impeachment vote. They've had consultations between the Speaker of the House and the Pentagon about preventing the president from accessing the nuclear codes and discharging his other duties. They had calls by our national security and legal apparatus against conservatives and their speech, all under the pretense of, listen carefully, combating domestic terrorism it's very important when you are labeled a domestic terrorist you got nothing this is not an issue of politics the federalist writes for it will encompass all of civil society the common assault on dissenters will play out in the arenas that far transcend our increasingly up unrepresentative government. Big tech, woke capital, corporate media, and beyond have already started participating in the purge of their own volition in a continuation of the anti-cultural revolution of the summer of 2020. It is nothing less than the weaponization of civil society institution against political dissenters, in conjunction with and often indirectly supported by the state. Americans are now primed to punish their, federal, uh, their fellow Americans for wrong think. And it will go far beyond banning the President of the United States from social media platforms or purging countless like-minded voices and stymieing their alternative means of communication. It will go far beyond pulling a U.S. senator's publishing deal. It will go far beyond even firing people purportedly acting peacefully at political rallies. Ultimately, it will extend across every aspect of the digital world and real life. We are headed towards something like China's Great Firewall, where, albeit without the power of a government gun, big tech silences speech that challenges the ruling class official narratives. This should chill people to the bone. The feds have now opened 25 domestic terrorism investigations on the Capitol attack. And I'm okay with that if it's real. And if it's re- it, it, it has to fit, what did they do?
and will they get a fair trial? I want these people to go to jail. If you came and you busted up the Capitol and you thought you own it and you're going to arrest Mike Pence and you came in with the zip ties ready to put people, you deserve to go to jail. But we are... We are entering a period of time now for some reason, and just like the election fraud, it should be looked into by some independent counsel. But we are, we are not allowed to talk about anything that happened during the election. But somehow or another, the Democrats are allowed now to spread conspiracy theories that some of the members of Congress, possibly the Senate, were in on this. And they knew in advance, and they were giving tours to these maniacs the day before and pointing out, here's how you get into here, and here's how. They have no evidence. AOC said, well, she just knew something wasn't right the day before. Okay, well, that's good for you, but that's not evidence. Meanwhile... University professors have begun to push Biden and his administration to create misinformation commissions to counter right-wing lies. What does this mean? Well, luckily, it's from know-nothing universities like Duke. Last week's attack on the U.S. Capitol was based on lies. The mob that stormed the building was acting as a tidal wave of misinformation about the election that was spread by the president, his fellow Republicans, and their supporters using a web of partisan media outlets. I think they're talking about us. Social media and the dark corners of the Internet. They now want seasoned Washington journalists to have the government form a committee to make sure that people that have the wrong point of view are no longer heard. Tomorrow, Sarah, could you go back in the archives and find, I had Ted Koppel on TV one day, four years ago maybe, and he actually told me something like, you know, people like me need to grant license to people like you. We can't just let anybody on the air. This is this is this is this is popular on the left. Let me give you a couple of other disturbing things. 18-year-old liberal lesbian has exposed her parents on Twitter for attending the Capitol riots. When your children turn against you for the state You're in a different world. Airbnb is now setting to ban any violent protesters from inauguration bookings. Ask the host to turn in suspect renters. So how do you define exactly who those violent protesters are? And could I turn in some Antifa people? AOC yesterday called for the liberation of southern states. I want you to hear it. Southern states are not red states. They are suppressed states, which means the only way that our country is going to heal is through the actual liberation of southern states, the actual liberation of the poor, the actual liberation of working people from economic, social, and racial oppression. That's the only way. Now, I want you to know that clearly she's not inciting anything. She's just calling for the liberation of the people of Georgia. How, how, who? What? All right, let me tell you one more thing that people are dismissing. And you should not. Who was it? Megan Kelly said to me on our her podcast last week I was on her podcast and she said I can't believe going back I just can't believe how many things you were right about she's like you, you know you got a name of of being kind of a prophet on things and and then a lot of people smeared you because it didn't happen right away and I said 
She said, how do you do that? And I said, I take people at their word. When people say, you know what, we're going to round those people up and put them in cages, I tend to believe them because when societies go bad, people do that. So you have to start taking people at their word. What are they saying they're going to do? Let me play this from the left's mouthpiece, AOC. We're going to have to figure out how we reign in our media environment mm. so that you can't just spew disinformation and okay, misinformation. Okay, stop. Stop for a second. We're going to have to figure out how we rein in our media situation. Now, I don't think she's talking about ABC, NBC, CBS, <laughs> CNN, or MSNBC. She's not talking about that. She's using media situation uh, as a cover for everybody else that doesn't want to believe that she's talking about just silencing anybody who disagrees. She's clearly talking about organizations like this one. Spew disinformation and misinformation. It's one thing to have differing opinions, uh -huh. but um, it's another thing entirely to just say things that are false. Stop. Boy, oh boy, would I, hmm. whew, I could do a whole show on that one. Um, Hunter Biden. There comes one. How about uh, he's an agent of the right? I'm not going down this road because I'm trying to keep my blood pressure down. I think we should put a blood pressure monitor on you for the whole show, and everyone can watch along as you go through the show and watch it rise. I do that. This would be fantastic. I, I would do that. You should, if if you get one that was accurate, that would be fun. You get it sponsored because I can feel it right now. Uh, okay, so uh, what was she? What was she? Saying? Oh yeah, just uh, uh, spewing lies. It's different to have a different opin opinion, but spewing lies. Well, the problem is we have two different worlds now. We're living in a world where one people say it's a lie that men can have periods and babies too. I think it's pretty easy to scientifically verify that. But that's called hate speech. Because the truth to the other side of America is men and women are exactly the same. And men can have babies if they want to be baby. If they want to have babies, they can have babies. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, okay, so men and women are the same? Yeah. No difference? Okay, so I can hire whoever I want. I don't, I mean, I can hire the best person. If it happens to be a woman, it's a woman. If it happens to be a man, it's a man. No. That's the world they're living in. So we don't agree on truth anymore. What they called a conspiracy theory has become conspiracy fact. There are people that conspired to do what they did to Donald Trump over Ukraine and over the Russians and everything else. There is fact there. It's not a conspiracy that Hunter Biden has been taking cash and not paying taxes and is getting rich off his dad's name in China. That's fact. You're now going to tell me after four years of lies that I have to, that you're going to be put, it's like putting Jennifer Granholm in charge of the energy department. You have a very bad track record. You're, you're now telling me that AOC is going to find the qualified people. Who would those qualified people be? Well, I can guarantee you that they'll be the, they'll be the leaders of, you know, the big networks, you know, the institutionalized media. Oh, okay. Okay. You need to prepare yourself to have books that are the foundations of America, the true history of America. Uh, you need to save things in paper and you need to prepare to be a beacon of light, of hope, and of truth. Consider yourself the only person in your life or your, your circle that really is full of light and is doing the right thing. Prepare for that day to lead others out of darkness.